British coach Malcolm Reilly had a devil of a job to fire up his team for Tuesday's tour, Swan, uh, Swan Song, not Wan Song, Swan Song with Auckland. Despondent from their uh, Sunday loss to New Zealand and elimination from the World Cup, the British team were not to find Auckland easy opponents. Now Cameron Bell's team has had a mixed season, overrunning most of their opposition, but remembered for recording the first ever loss to Wellington in 75 years. Tony Palmer was our commentator at Carlow Park, and when we join the match, they're at Tool. Mark Bombo. Best opportunity to run with the ball. Solomona. Auckland starting to make some progress now. Midway, halfway, and 22. Watson. Watson looking for a gap. Puts Tumagami in. Yes, Tumagami will go all the way. Oh, excellent try. Nicely passed by Dave Watson. The gap was created. Tumagami up from fullback and ran through. Looked around for support, which certainly was there in the form of Marty Krieger, but decided to go all the way himself. An excellent try, Paddy Tuimabavi, captaining Auckland for the first time, and what a way to start. Great Britain ball. Joiner just links up with Ford. Otherwise, Ford would have been away. And that's a kickable penalty. And two points are there. So it's eight to four. Just a couple of minutes remaining in the first half. Bancroft restarts for Auckland. And it's Lachlan. Just inside the 22. Gregory. Still very effective tackling by Auckland. Andy Gregory. Rob puts two of them. Trying to find space, but eventually pulled down. He really is the man that can cause the holes of the Auckland defence. Although Andy Gregory doesn't seem to have been of a mind to run too much tonight. Mostly just been licking. Lachlan. Well taken, Paddy to him, Bobby. Uh, looked like a pretty high tackle on Salomona. It's gone unseen. Peter Brown looking for the support. Bancroft picks up the pass. Shelford. Rico in the line. Watson coming back inside, the pass beautifully put to Shelford. Back out again to Tomoko. And they're right up within a couple of metres of the line, Auckland, on attack. Excellent passing. Bancroft decides to go right again. Mark Bournville trying to bullock his way through. Five tackles on Auckland. Peter Brown finds the line, yes! He's been given the try, right under the post. back combination of excellent passes put together good games being had by Bill Bancroft Kelly Shelford Shelford in that move twice and eventually play the ball the two meters from the line and Peter Brown pushing his way over after Mark Morville had tried to do the same and stopped just short with Auckland leading Great Britain by 14 to 4. Great Britain just 
seven or eight metres now inside Auckland's half. Untidy scrum and it's come Auckland's way. Quick hands to Shelford. Shelford finding some space. The man, man picks up the pass. Does it appear to be dropping? Watson waiting. Brown passes it on through Solomon to Tomoko. Tomoko's in space. He's got the support. Are they going to come back for the knock on? They are. Well, this is a rampant Auckland side. The scrum five metres out. Great Britain ball. Man will be looking for another tight head here. Pretty unlikely the way. Yes, they've done it. Auckland, another tight head. Bancroft almost through. Gregory has him. Oh, great running from Auckland. That's two tackles. Man waiting. Peter Brown. Pass came back. Shelford. Sustained pressure on the line from Auckland. Several players had a go at it. Finally, from the second play, the ball. Man flicked it up. Shelford just in the right place. Slipped through under a tackle over the line. Good try, Kelly Shelford. Lucky pass. There was a Great Britain hand in the way. Bancroft driving a little run around. Goes back to Tua Mbabe. Tua Mbabe catches four. Four up to the task through two tackles already. Finally brought down by Borbo. Here's Henderson Gill. Henderson Gill. Bancroft has him on the line, but an excellent Great Britain try. Henderson Gill, look at the power and strength and speed of the man as he pushes off and brushes off tackle after tackle. Finally going across the line in the tackle of Bill Bancroft, desperately diving. Good try, Henderson Gill. Pretty wayward tackling from Great Britain. Brown puts the pass back into Shane Hanson. Hanson going for the corner. Just brought down short. Gill trying to make amends for Great Britain. Let's hope tempers don't get too frayed out there. Andy Gregory trying to slip under these tackles. Three or four hit highs in a row. None of them very damaging, but Hugh Waddell fired up. Trying to make some ground now. They're up past the halfway, Great Britain. Desperately in need of a try. Fought up in the line. Links up this time with Stevenson. Stevenson through one, through two. Links up with Gill. Gill's out of the first tackle. He's breaking them like they weren't even there. Finally, Paddy Tuomavavi has it. Ford, fumbling the ball. Oh, some atrocious handling. As Shelvin runs it out. Can he go all the way? Lachlan's long legs might just catch him. The crowd goes berserk and Lachlan just pulls him down. Oh, a meter short of the line. Great break by Kelly Shelvin. And Great Britain trying to upset them now. That's going to cost them. Auckland looking to play it quickly. Gilmavave. Pass out. Have they got an overlap on this side? Oh, Leota scores! Francis Leota.
great pressure play, which really came from a mishandle. Kelly Shelford picked it up. He was away. He didn't quite have the pace on his own. And the long, loping legs of Paul Lachlan, the centre for Great Britain, eventually caught up with him just a metre short of the line. He was hauled down. They decided to go right. And eventually the pass came to Francis Leota. And he made no mistake. Change of kicker for Auckland. This time it's not Peter Brown. It's the little ex Cantabrian, Phil Bancroft, the halfback. He's around the corner kicker. Attempting the extra two points to make it 24 to 8. over 10 minutes remain now. Not a lot of time for Great Britain to salvage some respectability. Andy Gregory trying to make some ground for them. Here's Waddell. Up to the halfway line now, Great Britain. Gregory changes direction. Yes, going nowhere. Here's Gregory again, and that's the halfway line. Gregory zipping through, links up with Ford, hits the pass back again, Stevenson to Gill, and Gill's away, at Tilma Mavavi to be, and he's over the line, in Tilma Mavavi's tackle. Good finishing, the second try for Henderson Gill. Andy Gregory, the man doing the little run around, makes the space for them. Good linking up for these great Britain players, and Henderson Gill able to finish it. The extra points from Paul Lachlan. Ah, oh, fourth coming. 24 to 14, and once again the gap is 10 points in Auckland's favour. They're going to play it wide now. Not a particularly good pass. But Mann did manage to hold it. Dwayne Mann, the man of the match for Auckland. Mark Bourneville. Bourneville picks it inside. The pattern. Bourneville waiting again. Trying to go himself a few metres short of the line. Bancroft over the top. Quick hand. Paddy to him of Harvey. He gets the pass away to Kelly Shelford. And Shelford makes the line. Oh, yes! An absolutely superb finishing try for Auckland. Most of the Auckland side handled that. Look at the quick hands. Beautiful passing. Good thinking by Phil Bancroft. Just whipping it over the top. Keeping it out of their reach. More quick hands. Up to Shelford. Shelford finds the line. And once again dots down. An excellent try. Beautifully finished and Auckland really being the superior side on the day. Bancroft puts 